Hi guys, we've got another LED lighting video because I'm about to install some LED lights here in the lab and uh, I thought I'd just do some uh, measurements, get it on camera, try and show you the difference, although it is hard to get that on video, but we'll try and get some measurements anyway. Now I've done a previous video on this, if you haven't seen it, it'll be linked down below and that was with uh, Doug Ford from Doug Ford Analog Designs where we installed some of his cool uh, LED lights, but it's not enough. I need some more. So uh, what I've got uh, at the moment is my lab is actually quite dark. It's a, you know, I don't have my LED lights installed at the moment. All I've got is my uh, regular compact, uh, sorry, uh, regular uh, tube fluoros up there. And they're um, pretty new um, NEC quad uh, phosphor ones at uh, 5000 K color temperature. And well, they're not bad, but it's still, I've got two there, and it's still, you know, and more spread around the room. It's still not enough light. So I've got remote controls for my other LED lights. So when I shoot videos, like this is fine for just hanging around the lab, but when I shoot videos, I turn on, I've got uh, those two LED panels, which we saw in the previous video, so I can turn those on and woohoo! So this gives me a uh, nice flood field uh, lights that sort of come in from different angles and from behind me and light up all the stuff on my bench Which is really really quite nice. And if I do need more than that, I've also got uh, the ones Doug manufactures in his own uh, factory these um, strip LED lights up here so I can Turn those on as well and they're directly two of those directly above the bench So they just come down and light it all up, but unfortunately, so these are all uh, three 4,000K, but my uh, fluoros are 5,000K, but I've got to see these new LED lighting tubes from Audi, they had them on special today, so I went down, picked some up, they are 25 bucks each, um, you can actually get them uh, cheaper than that on eBay, but they're, you know, who knows what brand, who knows what quality, these are from a company called uh, Muller Light in Germany, and um, they look you know, and sound decent quality, and they are 4,000K. So I thought I'd try them out and uh, see if we can get some measurements so I can replace all of, hopefully, all of the uh, compact, all of the fluoro tubes in the lab with the same color temperature LED lights. And they're, I think, 36 watts in there at the moment. When we get them down, we'll check. These are only 18 watts. So um, they're rated for 1,700 lumens each. So we'll give them a try, get some measurements here on the bench and see if they make a difference anyway. It's worth a go. Let's go. Boom. Now here's the ones we're installing from uh, Muller Light or Mueller Light or however you want to pronounce it. I'm sure my German viewers will correct me on that. And uh, no, they're not made in Germany. They are made in China, but at least they're a reputable uh, manufacturer, I believe. So they should be, you know, fairly well uh, specced and, you know, fairly decent uh, quality. We might even uh, eventually uh, crack one of these open, but I'll leave that for another uh, video. Anyway, um, 1700 lumens, 18 watts, so they'll be uh, hopefully replacing 36 watt uh, strip fluoro. So you've got to keep that in mind, you know, much lower um, energy uh, requirements. And, uh, you know, there we go, they reach 60% uh, of their claimed light within one second, etc, etc. 30,000 hours, so they claim, and 15, 000, greater than 15,000 on-off uh, cycles. These are 4,000K uh, neutral white uh, colour, and lead lifetime of 30 years at around 2.7 hours per day, or so they claim. Anyway, these are uh, rated for 230 volts. Uh, mind you, I've got close, uh, like over 245 volts here in the lab, so I'm not sure how that will affect the light. I'm really on the high side here of the upper limit of the mains voltage here in uh, Sydney in the lab. Anyway, they have a uh, CRI of uh, greater than 80 there, and uh, they draw 97 milliamps at 240 volts, and they weigh 285 grams, if you're into that sort of thing. And uh, there we go, there's a energy chart. I'm not sure. Probably a standardized energy chart or something like that. I'm not sure what A plus means. I haven't investigated that at all. Some sort of European uh, union thing, I guess. Standards. And uh, there they are. Ma manufactured by Muller Light for, specifically for Audi stores to our stringent quality specifications. If you're not entirely satisfied, 60 day refund. 
So there you go, I can try them out for 60 days and I can return these suckers. And made in China, and that's their website, uh, Muller Light or Licked DE, however you pronounce it. Sorry, that's uh, <laughs> I need to work on my German pronunciation, but these are the ones we're going to install, and they are. Uh, completely uh, frosted. Now a lot of these are clear, but you can see that it has extra frosting on that side, but I can't see any of the LEDs on the PCB inside there. I can't see anything through there, so um, you have to install these the right way up, of course, otherwise the you want the light bouncing down, otherwise it'll be bouncing up off the reflectors in the top, but uh, I'm not sure how much of a difference that makes, but anyway, yeah, they are completely frosted. Now, I've got my light meter here, um, pretty much directly under my dual strip fluoros up there. And as I said, NEC quad phosphor, uh, 36 watts, 5000 uh, K, basically at the top of the range uh, fluoro bowls. And I'm getting about 390 lux here on the bench. So I'll keep this in the exact same spot and we'll replace those two 36 watt ones with two 18 watt lead 4000 K. Uh, uh, fluoro replacements and see what we get. So let's, yeah, let's call it 390. I don't have my other LED lights on. If I do switch those on, my main LED lights, you'll notice that, boom, it instantly goes up to 640 on my bench. And actually, and if I turn the other ones on above, hello, wireless, there we go. Whoa, up to no, almost 950. There you go. So I'd be, you know, pretty happy if I uh, get that to jump up to I don't know, you know, 500 to 600, it'd be fantastic, um, but yeah, we'll see. Okay, now what I'm going to do is just check my what uh, my camera tells me is the white balance value from this uh, white sheet of paper I've got here. It may not look exactly uh, white, my camera is fixed to a fixed uh, 4600 white balance at the moment, but let's uh, change that, I need to stop. And you'll notice that if I set the white balance here, the camera will actually tell me what it thinks that white balance is. It should be 5000K because that's what the NEC tubes are rated at. So if I hit set white balance, there we go. Yep, <laughs> spot on. It definitely says those uh, NEC fluoro tubes are 5000K. And of course, when you install these, you get uh, one of these little um, shorter uh, starters. It basically just replaces your existing starter. It's got a short inside like that and uh, we'll e explain in the uh, previous video of LinkedIn exactly why and how this works. But anyway, just simply replace it. Not a problem. And I had the lights out when I was replacing this bulb so I couldn't quite uh, see which uh, orientation it went in and of course Murphy says I get it back to front and you can see that the light's shining up into the uh, trough up there and reflecting back off. Um, yeah, oops, just need to rotate that so it points down, obviously. And just for kicks, we'll uh, actually measure that with the light shining up into the trough and reflecting back down. There you go, 135 lux on the bench. Let's see what happens when we uh, rotate it. We'll get significantly higher. And bingo, there you go, gone up from 135 to around about, you know, that 190 odd figure. So don't install these upside down. And there we go. Look at that. I'm quite disappointed. It is less, I expected, at least equivalent. Uh, really, but no, it's not. Um, you know, about, let's say, uh, 310 lux there. So we dropped from about 390 from those dual NEC quad phosphor ones uh, with at uh, 36 watts. But hey, these are 18 watts. So um, I don't notice any noticeable difference in the lab here. So really, essentially, to my eyes, very equivalent uh, in terms of light. Sure, I'm not going to be getting more, but still probably a worthwhile uh, replacement given that they're, um, they're only 18 watts as opposed to the uh, dual therm, 18 watts each as opposed to 36 watts each in the other tubes. So really, um, probably just a worthwhile upgrade there. Plus, I also get the bonus of having the correct uh, color light temperature as well, which we'll measure now. All right, let's set it and see what we get. We're expecting 4,000 and we get 4,200. Uh, near enough when you combine it with all the other uh, lights in the lab mixing in with these uh, nominal uh, 4,000K LED bulbs. So that's pretty good. And just for reference, here's the NEC quad phosphor tube. As you can see, 37 watts, not 36 as I thought. Uh, 5,000K, made in Japan. And we'll just check for safety of these tubes to see if they're correctly uh, designed or not. Well, you know, I assume they are correctly 
designed because um, you can't import, legally import, the uh, dangerous type anymore. I won't go through the differences. We've done that in the previous video, which will be linked down below, but we expect a uh, short only on one end. So let's take a random end. Yeah, there we go. All right, and we should not have a short on this end. And of course we don't. So that is the safe type, beauty. So there you go, I was a little bit disappointed with those, but uh, 1700 lumens, and I believe the NEC ones are rated for like 3700 lumens uh, nominal uh, output or something like that. So but really, um, yeah, these give slightly lower lux output actually on my bench uh, surface itself, but probably equivalent here in the lab. I don't see a huge difference really. So um, probably not good enough. I still need, I have to get some more of those uh, lead panels up there from uh, Doug because they're, they're really super bright. They're like 60 watts or something each. They're fantastic. So I probably need another two of those over the bench plus the two backlit ones uh, on this side so like, they can backlight. But these ones probably going to be quite good for the rest of the room considering that there are uh, the 4000K, the color temperature I need. So therefore I'm not you know, mixing the 5000K NECs with the uh, 4000K LED light. So yeah, I'll probably go replace my 37 watt tubes with these 18 watts and well, save some energy too. Eh, let's not get into the whole uh, cost benefit and payoff period and all that sort of stuff. I like them. I think they're pretty cool. So anyway, I hope you like that. Catch you next time.